are here. We got Fiona. We got the horses. So I'm excited to hear what you think about Finny and his uh, net, but I don't think that it's valid because he has the saddle he likes and he has the rider he likes. And a lot of people think Sophie is the worst rider for Finn, but we've had three people ride him. And I've asked all three people and they've some horse to ride. Some of them have gotten off of him in three seconds. And Finn has given that like even Kaylee who loves to ride him. Move his feet. Even Kaylee if his feet move, then his brain has to work. If his feet stand still, his brain can shut off. Even at Kaylee, it, like the, He's, they all, even the experienced ones are like, oh my God, I don't know. S Chanel said, Sophie is the rider for that horse. Like, yeah. he's hard. Love it. Yeah, so on their last lesson, they worked on Gabby losing that right rein, which would really needed to happen. Bring your hips forward and bring your shoulders back. That's the only one I could find. So yeah, that's something really important to say. What Fiona is saying is that the reason that Sophie sits forward is for balance, but it's not because she's balancing on the reins. It's because she- Her lower leg goes too far forward. And then when she, her body wants to fall backwards and to counteract the falling backwards, we tip forward. Right. So her upper body is tipping forward because her lower leg swings away. Yes. So once she gets her lower leg to stay back underneath her, she'll be able to sit on the front of her saddle, bringing her tail under her, and then bring her shoulders back over top of her tail. Okay, so you guys got that? It's because of her leg position because she doesn't keep her legs still and it tips her forward. And yes, while she's figuring that out, she's not going to be able to keep her heels down or legs steady or perfect, everybody. Yeah, like it so tips give her, her back. a little bit of a break while she figures this out. Yeah, like this is what we're working on today. We're gonna, keep, we're gonna work on this and see if we can get it going good. But basically, her legs don't stay in place, so she tips back and to counteract that falling back, she leans forward and that's just a bad habit. Four months with no trainer. I feel like I'm going to be saying four months with no trainer for months until people realize that in Canada we've been locked down until last week. So think about dropping your knees to the ground, which means you have to engage your inner thighs and your tummy muscles. When you engage your tummy muscles, you're going to bring your tummy up towards your chin, drop your knee and your heel down towards the ground, and then lean your shoulders back over your bum. I don't know if she can hear you. When you lean your shoulders back over your bum, stretch your hands out in front of you. Good, again. That's another thing. She needs to have her hands forward by the martingale. And for some reason, I don't know why they, they don't, why is it that they do it when you say it and then they revert? Is, is it because they're working on remembering all the things and so some she things? She wants to um, half halt him because he gets a little fast because as she's bringing her leg back, it accidentally bumps him. She's not steady there yet. It's got to learn to come back and stay steady, but until it learns to come back and stay steady, she's going to have to half halt him. So he's scooting a little bit on her. So as he scoots a little bit, her hands want to half halt him. So she puts them out and then brings them back to half halt and puts all them right. out and then brings them back to half halt. It becomes a balance thing. When your shoulders yeah. are too far forward, if you put your hands out in front of you, you're going to fall. So your balance so until is... until her shoulders come back, she can't put her hands out in front of her. Yeah. Completely. Right? Are dead. And I And how they have those piano hands. I don't know why they just keep doing that. Yeah, I don't know, because they get told all the time to have their thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up, Sophie! <laughs> yes! Now... All right, what did I miss? I had to go get water. Your cute little sassy daughter. My cute little sassy daughter? Yeah. She takes after her mother. She does. I know. She has some of Sam and she has some of me, but she's a lot of me. That's it. Look up. Don't cross it over his neck. Lift it up on his neck. And then open the inside one to encourage. You gotta close one door and open the other. There. Don't let him get you into the trees. Start now. Turn a little bit. Head for that first fence post off the corner, the first round one. Left rein, push him over, yes! No, yeah, no, you can't see her, can you? But I so, still, you think the nose net is helping? Like, he is still shaking. He's pissed off right now. Oh. He With would like to go fast, and she's not letting him, so oh. he's showing his anger. Oh, yeah, so that... Uh, I mean, out of all the things I've tried already and all the things I saw with three other people riding him, I feel like it's what he does when he, he doesn't like something. Yeah, I think it's attitude. One thing I don't understand about horses is that like two of our, one of our dogs, two of our dogs our whole life have had grouchy attitudes. They've just been grouchy, 
dogs. Like if the other dogs come up and bug them, they growl. Like they're always the boss, they're always strong, they're always like, they have a grouchy attitude. Most of our other dogs have been like happy, easy going, but if dogs can have different personalities and sometimes be like a grouchier personality, why can't horses they be like that? Be. But anytime That's somebody- not mares get their- Right, but anytime, like Storm- Wall. put your wall up. Yes, he doesn't get to drag you wherever he wants. Close that shoulder and tell him no. There's a wall here. And he's not even trying to turn away. No, because he's learning. You're learning, he's learning. You should be able to add leg and rein and tell him no. There's a wall here, you can't bust through it. If he gets you too close to that fence because he's bulging his shoulder, is it gonna hurt your knee when he smashes you against it? Is it gonna hurt though if he does? Yes, so don't let him. He has lots of redeeming qualities. Like, Storm is always grouchy. He has a very strong personality. I'm the boss of everything. And he's always been like that. But this horse, I, I feel like he throws temper tantrums like a child. This is a much better circle. You're controlling the outside shoulder. And your leg is in a much better position. We could put our skirt a little closer to our toe. I don't think your boots are too big for you. You do not want your stirrup iron any further back than the ball of your toe. You don't want it on your toes. You want it behind your toes on the ball. Yes, perfect. Then your ankle can flex. I don't feel like Finn is a grouchy horse, but Then he, your ankle can flex. But he throws temper tantrums, I feel like. I feel like yes. that's what the head thing is. I think a lot of it is that. But I feel like he feels calmer with his nose net. Isn't it nice? Sometimes you just need to slow it down to figure it out. And have trainers, which I'm gonna keep saying because man, four months with no trainers was really hard. You feeling more confident? Yes. Use that leg and that right. Don't cross his neck. Look down and make sure your hand never crosses his neck. Up and on his neck and then open the other one to encourage inside. Leg, more leg. When he ignores you, put your leg on, yeah. He listens to your leg. If you have to take it and give him a little uh, nudge or a lift and a harder squeeze and go ahead some people said that he didn't listen to their leg at all oh he is very good listening to the leg I've ridden him yeah I know but I mean like one of the girls that rode him said that he she couldn't get him to listen to, to and that's another thing with Finn Finn is very protective of Sophie and very into Sophie like he does not want anybody else riding him. When he, he the worst he's ever ridden was for the, le, those three times for those three people. I've never seen him shake his head so much in my life. He has a lot of sass and actually he's gonna lose. You have a lot of sass too. I know. It's equally matched. She has gentle sass. Gabby has ferocious sass. Yeah, he doesn't have mean sass either. What? He doesn't have mean sass. I know, he does they're, not they're have- an equally matched sass. They are each equally matched sass. Check out with your inside hand, it's not dropping down by your knee. That's it, keep it level with his neck and martingale and just bring it open, like you're opening a door for somebody. You're saying, come into my house. Turn your thumb in the direction you wanna go. I never do that. There you go. You don't have a horse that needs it. Well, no, I don't think come into my house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin never says, come into my house. She's if more- you were a concierge at a hotel, you would say, Please come in. She would never be a concierge at yeah, a hotel. You have to because it's your job. Nope, she's like her dad. She's going to be on a computer and do administration stuff. Yeah. Well, she probably won't, but that's the kind of girl she is. She likes to talk to computers instead of people. And, and horses. horses. He gets very sensitive when I like push him over. He's like, oh my God, I can do it myself. <laughs> so we're confident. Our hands are forward. Our shoulders are back. I want you to take your tummy muscles and squeeze them. Remember that lesson we talked about and how hard it was? Oh, to breathe? I do yeah. and I get abs. It's like doing sit-ups. Yeah. Yes. Tighten those abs. Tighten yeah. those core. So oh, tighten Gabby's them up. Sweating. Yeah, he's sweating for a while. Yeah. Keep I'm... your leg back. Never see her Remember sweat. to keep your inner thigh on the saddle. When you tighten your core muscles, you're gonna feel right in here, Sophie. Your inner thigh muscles are gonna tighten on the saddle too. Keep breathing. Like you're doing a sit up while you're sitting. Cause you got <laughs> stiff. Jeez, it's hot. I know, it wasn't earlier. I know.
tighten the core. That's it. That rain better come. I'm telling you. I know. We I'm work. That. I'm playing. Planning on it. Good. This is looking way better. So keep your shoulder back. Sophie's having a walk lesson. When the trainers no bend, push them with your outside rein and outside leg. When the trainers came back, we had to go all the way back and start from scratch because you forget a lot when they're not there. Like it was the most stress I've ever had trying to like keep my girls cross his neck from falling backwards, but they just fell faster and faster each week that you weren't here. You're tired already. You're yeah. just walking. I know. Walking is hard. Outside leg. Sides are on. Tummy muscles are engaged. We're breathing. If you stop breathing, I'm going to make you sing your ABCs really loud. So keep breathing. Like the neighbors will have to hear you that loud. Okay. Now, as you're walking, I want you to rise. That's hard. I know it's hard. You can't pull on his mouth. You have to keep your core engaged. How am I supposed to do that? And you have to keep your legs underneath you. Use your thighs. Up, down. Good. Imagine there's a rope attached to your belt buckle, if you had one on, and it's pulling your hips over his ears. Hands forward. Don't drop your hand by your knee. Remember, keep it up and open it. Good. Bring your shoulder back. Okay. Slow it. Slow it down. Do less of them. How slow can it take you to get into the air? That looks better. Slow. Don't force it. It's not fast. And then sit in the saddle. Pause in the saddle for a second. That's better. So for the longest time, she used to pause when she was younger. She would sit in the saddle too long. So we used to have to do the touch up. Remember when I mm -hmm, told her to touch mm -hmm, up, touch up, touch mm -hmm. up to get her faster? Yeah, for a long time. And now we're too fast. We have to go backwards because she's got a quick horse. Yeah, yeah. Riding a horse like Storm, it's okay to move your booty a little quicker mm -hmm, because he mm -hmm. needs to have a little more mm -hmm. energy behind him. I think this horse has taught her a lot more, a lot faster. Good. Notice how straight you are. Because your leg is underneath your booty. Hands are in front of you like you're carrying a silver platter to the queen. Don't spill it. Don't lose that job. You make $10,000 a day carrying that silver platter. It's a lot of money. Don't lose it. Some kids are motivated by money. Who's not motivated by money? Gabby is more Did you just hear that? Yeah. Wait, you gave her money? Gabby loves money and doesn't ever spend it. I do not like to spend it. I waste it all. She 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 keeps it. She okay. just Okay. Outside rain, right, outside leg. No, we're not gonna chase him into a trot. You're gonna leave your hands where they are. Just keep steering the way you are. Can you feel his belly swinging back and forth between your calves? No. Alright. So then put your calves on. Can you feel it swinging back and forth, pushing your leg left, out, and then in, and then out, and then in, and then out, and then in? Can you see that now? It's pushing right, left, right, left, right, left. You can see that, right? So, watch me for a second. As your horse is walking and you get that swing, these are your legs. Keep swinging your legs. You're going to go push, 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 push. Not hard, not kick. You're just going to squeeze his belly as it moves away from your leg. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to help you. So it's going to be left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Don't take your leg off. You're just adding a squeeze as it moves away. Yes, and push your hand forward. Good, keep squeezing as it moves away. Left, right, left, right. Good, we've lengthened our walk. Can you feel that? Keep your hand forward. He's starting to stretch his neck too. Don't touch him. That was very nice. Now breathe out. Change your eyes. So immediately you brought your hands back to your crotch and you lean forward. Think about when you were walking on that circle. How did you steer him? How did your legs feel? 
How did your hips feel? Where was your shoulders? And what was your belly muscles doing? Scooting away from you. Remember how slow we rose at the walk. Slow your rise at the trot. What's your hands doing? Keep them straight, your wrists straight. Push them forward. Push them forward. Breathe. Slow your bum down again. Remember, when you want them to slow down, you're going to tighten your core. You're going to tighten your thighs. You're going to lean back. You're going to breathe. Yes. Now give him a little rain because he wants to put his head down and reach for the ground like a hunter pony. Um, I was just remembering when, remember when uh, we went Stunning. to Park breathe. with Jenny and Robin? Stunning. Look at that pony. Yeah, me too. I love this rider. Look how straight you are. Don't grab his mouth. Hands forward. And uh, it was thunderstorming, and we took Jenny's car while Robin was driving. And we Hands were forward. He wants to settle his head down. Kaylin, That's okay. Uh, Good. You want to do it again? We're in the trunk because not all of us could fit in it. And then Bring your leg back. back drop your knee. You want to do it again? Yeah, Exhale. All right. I'll call them. We got a little bit of centrifugal force going on, so you need a little added weight to your inside stirrup. No, I just want like, the car riding. You need to add a little weight to your inside stirrup. Just your leg, not your shoulders. Now, remember when we rose at the walk, how slow did you come up? And you came down and you paused. Get your hands out of your lap. Breathe. Look at that pony. He wants to reach and stretch. Let him have that bigger trot. Ride from your seat, girl. Hands forward. Breathe. Don't touch your reins, just breathe. Yes. He's engaging himself and going into frame beautifully for you. He's rounding up underneath you because it's comfortable. Breathe. Leave him alone and breathe. Yes. Yes. Let him go. This is stunning. Just breathe. Yes. Keep your inner thighs on. We're almost done. Tighten your core and your thighs and breathe. Don't touch him. Good. Now, we're going to come through to a walk in a second. I don't want to see any bumping or bouncing. When you go into your walk, you're going to tighten your core super, super tight. You're going to sit your booty down. You're going to tighten your thighs tight. You're going to lean your shoulders back and you're going to big exhale, but you're going to keep your arms straight. Okay? Core, thighs, shoulders back, breathe out. Woo! That was a hard one. That was nice. Yeah, but I mean, that's because he's bored and restless. He doesn't want to just stand there. See, yeah. that's what I mean. Like, it's so hard to tell. He, through his rider learning, has learned that he can trust and relax. He didn't want to be fast and crazy. Now she has to add leg to keep him going. It's a whole new ride for her. But her horse is happy and relaxed. And that's our goal, is once we get ourselves balanced, don't cross your hand over his neck, and ourself on track, then our horse will go, oh. And, and you've had some of those brilliant aha moments where he's relaxed underneath you because you've got it perfect. Yes, give them out there by the martingale. Look how nice this is. Don't touch him. Yes, breathe. Circle's getting small because we're getting a little bit nervous about the speed. So take a big breath. Tighten your thighs, tighten your core. Push your hand out and bring your shoulder back. See how easy that was? Think about that though. Immediately we go to the, the nervous side, that side where we want to get tight and pull them together. I want you to do the opposite. Push your hand out, lean back and breathe. Yes, give away those reins. Do it again. Hands forward, shoulders back, and breathe. Now slow your rise. Think about rising at the walk. How slow did we make it? Hands are forward. Pause. Find that little pause. Hand out. Good. Now, can you feel how your leg went forward a little bit? 
Okay, so don't jam it back. Don't rip it back. Slowly just think about dropping your knees more. Tightening your core. Big breath when you bring your leg back so he doesn't respond to it. There, see, and he didn't run away. Let your hand go. Remember, hands forward, shoulders back. That's how you're gonna slow him down every time. If you grab him, he's gonna go faster. Give him away. Notice how he relaxes when you give him away? Yeah. Some horses, when you grab them, they go faster, they fight you. So if you give him away and that's his slowdown, perfect. <laughs> I could have picked it up. Do you like this horse? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Could you ride this horse all day? I don't like him. I love him. Ah, man. Thank you. So when we ask him for a walk transition, shoulders, hands, core, thighs. Got it? Yeah. Shoulders, hands, core, thigh, and walk. 